Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Florida, where there are a lot of changes coming down the pipeline that involve uh, First Amendment auditors and the rather antagonistic version of cop watchers that seems to be a direct response to the way these idiots have been acting. So let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Turning now to a new city policy banning video inside a police department's lobby. The city commission in Deland just voted this in after reporting an increase in harassment from First Amendment auditors. So if you don't know what a First Amendment auditor is, they're people whose goal is to test their constitutional right to record video or take pictures in a public place like one of these lobbies. That may be their stated purpose, but that's not th what the reality is. The reality is that they are going into these places to cause problems. Because why would you need to film a uh, transaction inside of a police department anyway? Especially since uh, this is a police department where victims of crimes go to report these crimes. And this can be considered witness intimidation, which is pretty much one of the arguments that was used against uh, Sean Paul Reyes's uh, BS lawsuit up in New York. You're welcome to film in all the other public places out on the sidewalk and everything like that. Who gives a damn uh, whether or not you cause trouble with other people on the streets? Well, that's your problem. New Six's Molly Reed is in the land with this policy and how similar changes could be coming statewide. A lot of residents come to the DeLand Police Department here and walk into that lobby through those doors to speak to an officer about a crime or file a report. Now, while they might be taken into another room to talk about the exact details, they first have to tell the receptionist why they're here. Now, lately, the police say these First Amendment auditors have been walking in after those residents and recording that initial conversation, many of which is posted online. So we got a little conundrum here. Uh, since you frauditors tend to scream about uh, no crimes being solved, well, this is becoming a real hindrance on the overall, well, outcome of crimes being solved, considering that if somebody is afraid to go in there and get filmed because they don't want their picture to get on the out on the internet and reveal that to the criminal themselves that this person is going to report them for the crime well that's just going to end up with another crime going unsolved and unreported so that very thing that you're screaming about is the one thing well one of the things that you end up contributing to in this particular scenario so ask yourselves how does the problem get fixed if you are the contributor to the problem, a contributor to the problem? Here's one example they gave us of it happening. The police say this auditor in the black was trying to record while a resident was speaking to a receptionist. In this case, it led to a fight. What were you doing recording in the lobby? I was there actually making a public records request. Steven Sanders is the man recording. So you wanted to shoot yourself making that request. Absolutely, and I just wanted to record in constant so that way nothing was missed. We're here investigating issues. We're here bringing public light. But the city says... It, they may not be, you know, focusing on that individual, but that interaction, that conversation is being picked up on video. Victims of crimes, uh, God forbid, someone who's been sexually assaulted mm -hmm. or who maybe witnessed a crime are coming into the office to, to tell our officers about that. Still, some are fighting back against this policy. We know you're up in Tallahassee with the First Amendment Foundation, but you've heard, let's start with the policy down here in the land with the police lobby. I mean, what is, you think, the opposition to this? I do not think it will pass uh, constitutional muster, and I think the courts will strike it. Down. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, that didn't work out in New York so well, and it certainly didn't work in other places where it was declared constitutional because, well, yeah, you got victims' rights and everything like that. I mean, you don't even bother to think about that. 
So now uh, let's just go ahead and switch to something else that's going on in Florida. A bill passed through the Florida Senate and Ron DeSantis ended up signing uh, the bill into law that will pretty much take care of the rather aggressive, overly aggressive cop watchers in the state. So let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, what they say about the bill. It prohibits the harassment of a police officer or first responder who is actively doing his or her job. Uh, the law pertains to anyone who has received a verbal warning not to pro approach an officer who approaches with the intent to interfere with the, their official duties, threaten with physical harm, or harass the officer. Under this bill, an individual who harasses a law enforcement officer in the line of duty will be charged with a second-degree misdemeanor. Now, a uh, second-degree misdemeanor can carry upwards of 60 days in jail for the offense. Now, let me be honest with you guys. I have said it several times before on other videos. I am not the biggest cop fan myself, but I see them as a very necessary part of the uh, operation of our communities and country. I mean, somebody has to go out there and enforce the laws that are put in place, and, uh, well, that's not exactly the easiest job in the world, and these, uh, well, rather belligerent Frauditors and cop watchers, and I'm not talking about all cop watchers, I'm talking about the ones that really get aggressive. There are the ones that just stand there and just film them, and there is a place in the world for them. They make sure that the uh, cops stay in line, because police officers are human, and humans do tend to get corrupted with power. I mean, just look at the Stanford prison experiment, uh, just research that little bit of a... Uh, uh, history, and you'll see that with power can come corruption, and any human can be subject to that. Not just the uh, cops and politicians, but the auditors as well. Cop watchers, auditors, and all that. You can see it in just about every video that comes out about these uh, auditors and uh, cop watchers, that there are a lot of them out there that are drunk on power. And that they make uh, claims that they are initiating change in this country and everything like that. Uh, well, yeah, you are making a change, but is, it, but is it for the better? I don't think so. Not in this case, dude. At least not in... Florida, anyway, uh, because of people like these guys on the screen uh, right here. Yeah, this set of auditors and uh, cop watchers just makes up a fraction of the uh, ones that I've covered personally. Because of these idiots right here, changes are coming to Florida that will probably affect you guys pretty negatively and uh, probably put a lot of restrictions on everybody else. Congratulations, you freaking morons. You've done it. You've changed things. But yeah, not for the better in a lot of cases. Because this is one thing that every anti-auditor I've seen will say. You push the buttons too much and bad things happen. You pushed all the wrong buttons here in Florida, and, uh, well, now the Senate has spoken. Now I'm sure there'll be uh, people like Long Island Audit where they'll come down here to Florida and cry all about it, but it really says nothing about filming in this particular law. It's just a matter of making sure that there's a distance between the uh, cop watcher and the cops and first responders, which you auditors and uh, cop watchers have tried to be, get closer and closer to the officers to cause a reaction, and uh, this is a response to it. Now, if you have anybody to blame, you should take a look at this right here and look at every single one of these guys on here. Each and every one of them is responsible for this happening. You guys wanted to play F around and find out for the past few years. Uh, well, now uh, the government is finally cracking down on you little twerps. And, uh, well, you shouldn't be crying because you've been asking for change and you got it.
So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?